Hi, and welcome to Atomic Darts. I'm your host, Matthew. On this channel, we take a look at darts, darts-related materials, and other items I think the darting community should know about. Hey, before we get into this review of the Razor Edge by Red Dragon Darts, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell down below, and you'll know whenever I post a new video. So, all right, today we are taking a look at the Red Dragon Razor Edge. This is the ZX3 model. We're gonna be looking at a 22 gram. All right, let's get into it. All right, so today we're taking a look at the Razor Edge by Red Dragon Darts. This is the ZX3 version of this barrel, which is the newest version. There are a number of other versions prior to this. It is an 85% tungsten barrel. The ZX3 comes in a 22, 24, and a 26 gram. We happen to be looking at the 22 gram today. All right, let's open this box and get a closer look up at the Razor Edge. Here's the Razor Edge barrel in its box. This is from Red Dragon Darts. Pretty standard looking box from Red Dragon these days. This is pretty much what their boxes look like. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. All right, this is a really good looking blue. I like this blue on this, this black right up front here. Oh, this is nice. And again, it's got the nitro shaft. This is a black nitro shaft. So this is black, this is a poly or a plastic, and then it comes into a metal. So it's a hybrid. Let's go and get one of these flights out. Some really nice looking flights. I like this blue flame on there. If you happen to see the Lisa Ashton review that I did, and there's a right up there, right up there, there's gonna be a link to that. She has the same looking flight, and it's in this white and purple, and it's just wicked, really good looking. I'm gonna put that on there. One of the things I love about this, ugh, the nitro shaft, is you saw how hard that flight went in. It, they just don't come out. That really grips on there. I really like this shaft. If I was playing the folded flights, which I currently don't, I would certainly be playing the nitro shaft. Let's take a look a little closer here at this barrel. All right, so take a look at that barrel. That thing is gorgeous. Look at the just this grip in here. And this is really just kind of a shark fin grip all the way the length of this barrel. We have a nice little cone right here at the front and just a standard point, but this is just a really good looking dart. I love the coloration on it. It is really just a shark fin all the way up. We do have a slight ring right in here. You can see this kind of slightly thicker ring and then we get into the silver and then another little ring right here. It's kind of a push point. It's where you could grip the dart and have a push point. And again, we got a thicker ring back here with a little bit more grip before we get into the shaft. But this is really just kind of a shark fin to razor edge, kind of get the name. This is a beautiful looking dart. I really like the coloration on this. Can't wait to throw it. It's got a little RD for Red Dragon etched in there. In the comments down below, let me know what you think of this. I mean, this to me is just a beautiful looking dart. I love the coloration. I like blue personally. I think it's a really good looking dart. Let's go ahead and head over to the board and we'll give it a throw and I'll give you a wrap up at the end. So I went ahead and changed out the shaft and flights. I've put my shaft flight combination on here. I am sending these to a friend of mine in Canada, but I'm really enjoying the look of these. I like that it's a slightly shorter barrel. I don't know, these might get lost in the post. She may never get these. Let's go ahead and throw them and see what they're like. It's not very grippy. Definitely the little shark fin type grip, but it does run the length of the barrel. And I like this push point. So right in here, there's a little push point. It kind of does edge up a little. There's a little bit of a bump right in here. And I like that as a push point for my thumb. Oh, that was off. Yeah, these feel really nice. Yeah, these might stay with me. It's more of a pencil shape. So it's not rounded. Doesn't have any other kind of weird shaping here, as you can see. There is a little bit right in here, so it's center weighted. So there's a little bit of a ridge there. It's giving a little bit more of the weight right in there, center weighted, but it's a nice push point for your thumb. They say you should warm up before you throw. All right, one last throw, and then we'll do a quick wrap up on these. All right, so there's a close-up look of the Razor Edge by Red Dragon Darts. Remember, these are an 85% tungsten barrel. They do come in a 22, 24, and 26 gram. I really like this barrel. I like that it's got a little push point right here in the middle. It's raised right there. This does have the shark 
fin or the fish scale grip. Not overly grippy, probably a number two in my book, maybe a little less than that. It is a standard size barrel, a little shorter than some other barrels that are out there. So if you like something with a lot of grip or a longer barrel, this isn't gonna be the one for you, but I will say this is a fun barrel to throw. I really like it. I've got to send them out to a friend of mine in Canada so that she can play with them. I think I'm going to have to acquire a set for myself to play around with. I really like these a lot. All right, guys, that's a quick look at this barrel. Again, it's the Razor Edge, the ZX3 by Red Dragon Darts. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next review. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.